Hey there everybody. Welcome to Indigo River Tiny Homes. I'm Peter. My lovely wife Christina is running the camera. We've got our daughter with us today, Juliana. She helps us out around the shop and she's going to help us with this tour today. Today we're going to look at our latest project which is a, which is a 10 foot wide by 39 foot long gooseneck homesteader deluxe. And you can see on the outside we did a multi uh, material exterior. We've got the cedar accent the cedar trim around the windows. We got the metal accent on the end. Uh, under he right here, we've got the front storage shed. It's got the, this is the utility closet. It's got the water heater in there, the water filter. It's so dark. There we go. Yeah. So lots of storage here in the front and then even more in the back. Yeah, we'll show that in just a sec. Underneath the gooseneck, we've got the uh, mini split system so this heats and cools the unit. There's also propane connections. We got our breaker box and our electrical connection under here. And a lot of people um, kind of close these in with fence pickets or something to make it like an additional storage area. And we'll go on back to the rear of the house here. And we've got we added on a storage shed on the rear. This is a customer request, this is a custom add-on. And we've got a two foot wide by 10 foot wide storage shed. It's got shelves on both sides. Lots of extra storage in this space. All right, you ready to go inside? Let's go inside, check it out. Anything else interesting about this exterior? I think there's a lot interesting about this exterior. <laughs> that you want to talk about? Well, we've got the full light door, which most of our customers choose with the blinds between the glass. Do we always do outswing? Because those are better for, uh, to protect against water infiltration, especially when you don't have a, a cover over your entry door. We'll step into the kitchen here. And first thing, we, when we step into the house, we're on a landing here. Underneath the landing, we've got a number of little shoe cubbies. I'm going to go ahead and kick off my shoes. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine shoe cubbies in this house, which is great because this is a, a family of five that's going to be living here. We've got the dining bar here that will seat three people. We've got a bank of drawers, full oven and propane oven and propane cooktop and the low profile microwave, which looks great. And it's really cool uh, space saver and really functional. Got the popular farmhouse sink, the ap apron front sink here with the butcher block countertops. Got a pull out trash can. We've got the upgraded fridge with the drawers on the bottom. This one even has an ice maker in it. And then we also have the pull out pantries on the end. Plus, one down there, two yeah. couple down there. And then two more pull-out pantries under, in the storage share, in the storage stairs, <laughs> if I can speak, the drawers and cabinet space as well. So now you can see all the cubbies. And then uh, this is a pretty big living area. Yeah, this is a great... The Wonder Woman spin. Yeah, a great living area. <laughs> Lots do the of Wonder space. Woman spin in here. They're going to mount the TV on this wall, have their sofa over here. The, the fenders for the house came in a little bit and we're going to, their sofa was going to extend past that and have to be pushed back from the wall. So we added a little extra storage behind the couch for some pillows and blankets and things. I'll get the dining bar so that see how it overhangs and then there's storage. Yeah, and there's cabinet doors here as well. That's the back. It looks like a cabinet door, but it's really the back side of the, the bank of drawers. But there is extra storage back there as well. All right. Ready to go upstairs? Yeah, let's go check out the master and one of the bedrooms. One of the secondary sleeping spaces. So you can come up, come up here and the first sleeping space we've got is in this little nook here. And we've got the step up here to help get into the space. We'll go ahead and uh, Juliana's waiting. Hi there. 
Tell us what you think about this house. Okay, yeah, I love, uh, this is, I think, my favorite room. Oh, yeah? Uh, because it's just so sweet and shiny, I like it. So, do you want nice. This? Right. Just talk loud. Yeah, uh, this is really, I like how, like, That's spacious cute. this yeah. is. And, like, this door is pretty, doors, pretty like, deep, huh? Yeah. What is that, like, 18 inches deep? I don't know. Yeah, you got pretty plenty of room to sit up, and this is where brother's room is going to be, and then the sisters are across the way, so Juliana's going to show us that in a second. Here's the master bedroom over the gooseneck, so we've got lots of floor space here to walk around both sides of the bed, yeah, three you, sides of the bed. Yeah, we've got a couple of feet on each side of the bed with full wardrobes, um, half hanging with three deep drawers below. Um, as well as storage above the head of the bed there. And then we also have the pop-up storage bed. Ooh. Nice. <laughs> it, it doesn't uh, rattle like that when the, the mattress is on there. It helps hold all that down. down. But the um, underneath here, you could fit about, did you get a shot underneath? Yeah, it's like six storage bins. At least six. At least. So, yeah, big not ones. nine. Yeah. And then the mini split system keep this area cool because you know having these divided off spaces um, it's, it's difficult to maintain the airflow and keep keep the separate areas cool so this one has its own dedicated so that's why we have the room to room fan there and then we've got one we can see it across the way that goes into that loft too so we'll make our way over there in a minute we'll first we'll show the bathroom I didn't get my shoes into a cubby. All right, we'll open the pocket door here. Go into the bathroom area. So the laundry cove, plus that's where the puppy dog's bed is gonna go. Got a pretty vanity. <clears throat> With some nice storage drawers underneath. Yeah, those are really big drawers and then regular flush toilet for these guys lots of storage here and a nice tile job how big is this shower it is five feet wide by 32 inches deep front to back so here's their shower and then a pretty glass door So Juliana's going to show us the other loft. So we've got one, two, three, four sleeping areas in this house, right? Correct. The master plus three twin size. Well, here, let me just, you scoot back and... So just talk loud. So this is one side. This is one side. I like the, I like this big window here. That one's, that's my favorite part of this room. And I the white is, is very nice. And, and this is, has a divider with storage so that siblings can have privacy. Juliana's going to show us the other side. There's the other side. We've got the light. I love those lights there. Don't yeah. You? And then right over here, we have the room to room fan. That's what it's called. Oh, yeah. It's not too stuffy up here. What do you think? I like it. All right. Thanks, Juliana. All right. Well, thanks for tuning in. We hope you like our homes, and we hope you buy one from us. Did you show the double fan? We got to get yeah, that in there too. We had a hard time sourcing those for a little bit, but now we got. I love those. Ones. We got some. Yeah, they're great for airflow because you can direct one into the loft spaces and one down into the living spaces. So it really helps keep the airflow going in these tiny houses. So we hope you love it, and if you do, like it and subscribe down below, and we'll see you next time. We love you. Bye-bye. Thanks, y'all.